Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Worst Possible Commander Show. I'm here with my friends. This is Ben. Hello. And that's Shay. Hey. And this is Blake. Hi. And I'm CGB. Wait, I'm me? I'm CG? It's me? It's CG? No, just we'll just move on. Today's show is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com. Use the promo code WORST to get a 5% discount, and you can get all kinds of stuff. Board games, supplies, Magic the Gathering cards, singles, sealed product, 5% off. Use the promo code WORST at CoolStuffInc.com. And here at the Worst Possible Commander Show, we like to go around the circle and tell each other about the worst possible thing our deck can do to each other. It's our rule zero. It sets, a, it sets us up for success slash pain and agony, so we know exactly what we're signing up for. And today we've prepared some very smash mouth battle cruiser commanders for all of you to enjoy. So Ben, tell us about your commander and the worst possible thing you're going to do to us. So yeah, I'm playing Jota the Unifier, round two, with some cool cascading large creatures. And then hopefully I'll get Zopandril out for his hunger to double hit people. Well, not double hit, but make their power and toughness go boom. Huge legends go smash, cascade into more legends. Perfect. The last time you played this deck, we were all dead. It didn't take long. Very dead, yes. I don't remember what turn it was. I yeah. just remember no one had a board wipe and it wasn't very close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we, we must respect the Joda. That thing hits hard. Yeah. All right, Shay, who is your commander? What's the worst possible thing you're going to do to us? Yeah, today I'm playing Lathrol, Blade of the Elves. Um, this is a deck I've played on the show before. Love elves. My Golgari heart is very happy today. Um, so Lathril has Menace, she's a 2-3, um, whenever she deals combat damage to a player, create that many 1-1 one, one green elf warrior creature tokens. So my goal today is to create an army of elves, and for my worst possible, I've got the classics here, Triumph of the Hordes and Crater Hoof Behemoth. It would be so fun if I could pull off a win with those today. <laughs> crush, crush. No, crush, crush. please. You can't kill me again before I kill you once with it, dude. Please. <laughs> no, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I just gotta show you how it's done. Oh, you know? teach me. Gotcha. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, and then also as part of my worst possible, because, you know, I'm noticing there's a lot of green on the board mm. represented by everybody today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think that works great with Elvish Champion, which gives all elves plus one, plus one, and Forest Walk. And um, my Ella Damry, Lord of Leaves, does the same thing with the Forest Walk. Perfect cards for this particular pod. Unblockable elves, no, that could be an issue for all of us. Shay, does it feel good to be back to, away from the blue stuff and back to just Golgari tokens, kill your friends? Yep, feels like home. Oh, glad you're back. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Kind of. Kind of. Might not have to kill her on turn four or whatever it was this time. Hey, that was a misclick. Speaking of the worst possible things that can happen, and by the way, in your defense, you definitely set us up that the worst possible thing that could happen is that Yargle Multani could just 21 shot us. <laughs> so, set us up again. What are you doing this time? Yeah, so I'm back with another one. I'm playing Kenrith, the returned king again. I promise I won't call him Kenan again. And I'm just playing my power levels relatively linear in that it's all very good stuff. I'm just playing five color good stuff. So some of the some of the classics are Consecrated Sphinx, Apex Devastator, little Spider-Man meme, uh, Rise of the Dark Realms, and Jinga Taxis. Also Blatant Thievery. I can't target three of CGB's thing. Unfortunately, I have to take one from everybody, <laughs> but it's going to be super fun. I'm going to try to take your stuff and kill you. You almost have a, the greediest curve I've ever seen. We got a five, a six, a seven, then you kind of cheat. I guess this is an eight there, a nine and ten. Yeah, I don't have, my curve starts at seven. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's going to be a lot of power. Last time you played this deck, it was... Turn four, tooth and nail. That's right. We're going for it again. Excellent. Well, I'm playing a new deck. I built Halden and Paco Arcane Retriever. This is a cool partner pair where Paco attacks and we exile the top cards of libraries and they get exiled with fetch counters and Paco gets counters for each non-creature exiled. And Halden lets those cards get cast. So I'm hoping to hit all these big explosive cards you guys have and then cast some of them myself. Although the creature ones I can't do. Too bad. But uh, what I also have for worst possible stuff, uh, Seize the Day, AKA round two, if you get the arcane secret lair. 
a, a few extra combats in there to try to get multiple combats out of Paco, which is very powerful. Chandra's Ignition, which is one of my favorite kind of finishers with a go big commander. This dog will get very large very fast. A Chandra's Ignition will probably just deal an insane amount of damage to everything else. And then Passionate Archaeologist is a card I want to spotlight. It is a kind of underused background. I haven't seen it too often, but it is a two man enchantment and it says creature, cre commander creatures you own have whenever you cast this spell from exile, this creature deals damage equal to its mana value to target opponent. When you have two commanders, you get that trigger twice. And my deck is definitely designed to try to get these both out together and protect them. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to exile your stuff and hit you with big dog. Woof. Woof. All right, we've talked about the decks and the worst possible things we're going to do. Who are you rooting for? Let us know in the comments. Let's dive in and let this nonsense begin. Blake, you won the roll of the die. I did. Start this game. It is my destiny. I'll draw for turn. I'm going to spend two life to shotgun in a temple garden, and I'm going to wild growth it. Wild. That is pretty wild. I'm going to pass the turn. That's wild. All right. I'll draw for turn. I will play a basic forest. Tap that forest. Play a birds of paradise. Your turn, Ben. I will play a tapped world tree. Your turn, Shay. You're supposed to ramp on turn one, dude. How many gods does he have? <laughs> we should start playing around it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, forest, go. All right, well, I'm going to untap. All right, so I am going to play a City of Brass, and I'm going to cast the Black Market Connections. No regard for life total. My, <laughs> Life's a resource. Sweet card. All right, CGB. All right, untap, draw. I'll play a Yavamaya Coast and I'll tap three for one of my commanders. This is Halden, Avid Arcanist, and uh, makes a lot more sense once I've attacked somebody with Paco, but I can cast spells that Paco exiles uh, as long as they're not creatures. All right, your turn, Ben. There is one thing I forgot to mention during the worst possible team. Um, I do have Heliod Ballista combo. So what a thing to bring up! Just <laughs> My conscience is eating at me, and I forgot, so. What a thing to mention, <laughs> just Casually now. Casually bringing it up. I mean, that's, you You can just drop little worst possible bombs whenever you want hey, to. sometimes you gotta. <laughs> Proceed. Okay. I'll shock in a uh, stomping ground. Tap. Play a three visits. Got a Indatha in trial. Goes on the battlefield tab. Go ahead, shake. Okie doke. Forest, then Elvish Vanguard. Whenever another elf comes into play, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Elvish Vanguard. Ooh, mm. spoopy. Mm -hmm. Pass to you. Draw. Serious question, Blake. Are you a coward? No. <laughs> so what are you doing with that six I'm life? I'm going to make a treasure token. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to make a 3-2 changeling. <laughs> what greedy. All right, well, I will get, for my life, a shapeshifter and a treasure. A shapeshifter, you say? I do. Does that trigger my Elvish Vanguard? I think I it think does. I think it does. Mm -hmm. me, me, me. Oh, no, it's a 1-1 one, one counter. It I'm is a 1-1 one, one counter. Put an elf token out. <laughs> we got to make sure you get the green dice. Yes. There you go. Beautiful, thanks. I will draw my card from Black Market Connections. I'm going to play Flooded Strand. I'm going to cast Tap Temple Garden for two mana for three visits. And while I uh, fetch up a Triumph with that, I'm going to fetch a Triumph with my uh, Flooded Strand. Yep, that's cool. All right. With the three visits, I got a Ketria Triumph. And with a Flooded Strand, I got the Zagoth Triumph. And then I will move to combat. Summoning sick. I'm going to pass through combat. <laughs> and pass through. All right, cool. I'll untap, draw. I will play a Sulphur Falls Tapped because I don't control an island or a mountain. What? You, what? What's what? You're not impressed? <laughs> I am impressed that that happened. <laughs> it's not that bad. 
Anybody can play a tap land hey, in Commander it's sometimes. Not dude. Okay. <laughs> there's nothing to be embarrassed. Not about. embarrassed. I'm just Good. salty. Yeah, there's nothing. Ben, go. <laughs> just go. Okay. <laughs> play an Otawara for my land for turn. Play a Bard class. Oh, that's very good with Joda. Yeah. What's that do? Legendary creatures you control enter the battlefield with an additional 1-1 one, one counter on them. Then I'll get to the other ones. Yeah, as, good ones. as you activate them? Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. as Sweet. I activate looking, them. Looking yeah. forward to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll also play a Black Blade re Reforged. Then I'll pass. Uh, we're going to play a Marsh Flats. Crack it immediately. All right, so I grabbed an overgrown tomb, and oh, I a... am gonna shotgun. No cowards here. Yes, so it enters untapped. Then I will pay one, strangely, for an Arbor Elf. Um, that's gonna trigger my Elvish Vanguard. That it does, three, three. Yes. Okay, so then I'm gonna pay two for a Prowess of the Fair, um, which is a tribal enchantment. And it is an elf, so that still triggers the Elvish Vanguard, giving it another counter. Cool. Yes. And so for Prowess of the Fair, it says whenever another non-token elf is put into your graveyard from the battlefield, you may create a 1-1 one, one green elf or your creature. Oh, elves die, make more elves. Got oh, it. Good. Yeah. The cycle of life. Yes. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I've got a 4-4. Four, four. Classic Shea Punchies coming up. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Who's looking punchable today? Well, there's only <laughs> one answer to that question. <laughs> um, Blake, I'm gonna swing on you for four. Don't call me friend after you swing at me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll block. Okay, cool beans, pass to you. Thanks. Hold up. Ooh. Hold Sulfur up. Falls himself. <laughs> uh, old Sulfur Falls coming back. Ah, Blake, I'm worried about your life total, man. Thought I'd help you out. I'm going to cast Nature's Claim uh, during Shay's end step targeting Black Market Connections. So In protest, I'm going to tap City of Brass. I don't want your stupid life. <laughs> That's a play you can make. Sometimes it's important to take a, take a moral high ground. I have the high ground now, Anakin. <laughs> Leave a comment if you take the moral high ground. All right, so destroy that, and you gain four life. I'm gonna play a Bloodstained Mire, and I'm gonna pass the turn. Huh? How much you got open there? Oh, a whole flooded worth. Is of that mana. seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't mm. know anything that happens for seven. Huh. Okay. I will untap, I'll draw for turn. For my land for turn, I'll play a Kessig Wolf Run. It's fun to give doggies trample. Oh, that is true. That's what that, an old saying. This is signed by Brian Kibler, heard of him? That is pretty cool. Who's that? No. <laughs> and I suspect shenanigans, so I'm passing the turn. You have no faith in me. We know your tricks. <laughs> Play a Marsh Flats return, and I'll crack and sack it. Let me get your butt. You know what? While you crack and sack, I'll join you. I got a Zeotaurus Proving Grounds. Nice. I got a Jet Mirror's Garden. I'm going to level up my Bard class for this. And that does, legendary spells you cast cost Gruel less to cast. This effect reduces only the colored mana I pay. Then, I'll Demonic Tutor. Okay. Oh. Here's the card I got. I uh -huh. get to see it. No, well, I'm sure we'll see it soon. Yeah. Soon enough, Ben's yes. not the type to search for something he's not about to cast. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough, your turn, Shay. Okay. Forest, and I'll tap four for Lathrol. Here she comes. If I let that resolve and cast a different spell instead, will you not attack me? This turn? Yes. Nice. I'm gonna enjoy one of life's great pleasures, which is to target CGB with a factor fiction. This is with Lathril on the stack? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. All right, all right, let's game. Dockside, Forest, Rampant Growth, Putrefy, Marsh Flats. The pile I will offer you is like this. I'm going to offer you the Marsh Flats and the Putrefy and the Rampant Growth Forest and the Dockside. I grabbed the Dockside Forest and Rampant Growth and discarded the Marsh Flats and Putrefy. Go ahead, Shay. Cool. Lathril has entered, which means I have an Elvish Vanguard trigger. Go up to four counters. 
then I'm gonna move to combat. Ben. <laughs> I have a feeling you are about to do terrible things to us all. <laughs> what are you talking about? True. We, we swing at you for five. We've seen Joda before. <laughs> for five, huh? Okay. Yeah. I'll take five. Go down to 32. Excellent. Pass to you, Blake. We're gonna cast Dockside. That's a dock side. I'll mm -hmm. go up to four treasures, I believe, because there's three. And then I'm going to cast Rampant Growth. You know what? You love it. Fetchy fetch. And uh, once I've gotten my land, I'll pass the turn. I got an island. And then it'll be CGB's turn. All right. I will tap five, and it's time to cast my commander. This is Paco Arcane Retriever. A 3-3 three, three haste, and when it attacks, we'll all exile the top cards of our library. We can play, I can play non-creature cards from among them with Halden, and it gets a plus one, plus one counter for each non-creature exiled. So because it's play non-creature, you can play a land. I can play That's lands with good. it. I hope I get Except to. Except Riot Arbor. All right, I will move to combat. Ben of the Bard class. Ben the Bard. <laughs> I will attack you with Paco, oh, yeah. the Arcane Retriever. So, attack trigger, everybody exile the top card of their library. I got Lelia of the Blade Reforged. I got a hollowed thumb. This is a poison tip archer. I got a stupid tooth and nail. <laughs> <laughs> that could be exciting. Oh, gee. <laughs> okay, so two of those are creatures. They just go to the exile zone, and they don't come back. Okay. Then uh, these two get exiled with fetch counters, and I'll make a fetch pile here. All right, there are two plus one plus one counters on Paco because of the two non-creatures. So that's a 5-5 five, five commander coming at you, Ben. Okay, I'll take five. Uh, Post-combat, I will shotgun in a hollowed fountain to join the club of shock lands in this game. After that, I'm done. Play a crystal quarry for my land for turn, which taps for colorless, or five and tap, and I can uh, add Wooberg. So I'm gonna cast a Maelstrom Wanderer, reduced by the Gruel and six my lands. Uh, creatures you control have haste and cascade twice. For oh my eight. goodness. Any responses? All right. Other than tears. Yeah, let's see what happens here. Mm -hmm. You have to go faster than that, dude. Okay, cultivate. Gets cast. So I got a an island and a plains. I'll put the island on the battlefield tapped and the plains in my hand. Then I'll cascade again. Hunger. <laughs> Uh, is that too much Zopantral, <laughs> Hunger Dominus. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> With haste. <laughs> Whoa. How wonderful. Awesome. Yay. <laughs> Sweet. That couldn't have worked out better, I don't think. So because of Bard class, those will both enter with a, an additional 1-1 one, one counter on them. Yeah. Yeah. And when you go to combat, it doubles the power of both of them. And the toughness. And they have haste? Yeah. So how much is that? Uh, 16 and 10. Power. It's like 26. 26? 26, yeah. Do they have trample? No. Okay. Unfortunately. Stock says I'll get wrecked. Ben, I'm just curious. Who, who, who do you plan to attack yeah, as we are question. going to combat oh, here? Oh, oh. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Speak to the council. Mm. Speak to us. I kind of want to know what, wanna know what Shay out. thinks since she's not the one interested. Well, she's tapped out. <laughs> oh, that's fair. Mm. <laughs> Actually, that's true. That's she can't true. untap Get a force. Get, Get, <laughs> Get all inquisitive with us. Mm -hmm. I don't know who's. What are what are the bets? Who, who's ris risking to lose more or not lose as much? I'm, I'm out of this. You do what you <laughs> want to do. Okay. I want to see who he attacks. I suppose. Yeah. I'll attack CGB with the Maelstrom Wanderer, and Blake with the Zopantral. Does Zopantral have trample? No, just reach. So oh my goodness. 10 coming at Blake, 16 coming at CGB. 16? Yeah. Ooh. 16? Yeah. It's not commander damage. Don't worry about it. I smell a pongify. Ooh. Interesting. It it's smells like, a, what's it smell like? A frog? Like a frog or an lizard. ape? <laughs> yeah, that's a frog. That would be a, not a pongify then. It would be oh, a rapid, rapid hybridization. <laughs> Take yeah. my nerd card. <laughs> Dockside's about to take one for the team. And Halden's about to hide in the corner. I will take the 16 with my face. Okay. Ow. I will go to 22. Hey, that's my turn. Go ahead, Shay. Tap in three for Marwyn the Nurturer. 
Um, whenever another elf enters the battlefield under your control, put a 1-1 counter on Marwyn the Nurturer. You can also tap her to add an amount of uh, green equal to Marwyn's power. That is going to trigger the Elvish Vanguard. Up to five counters. Alright, then I'll move to combat. <sighs> okay, so, then, while I am grateful that you didn't attack me, <laughs> you called the elves small. I did, yeah. And so I'm going to swing at you with the Elvish Vanguard, which is a 6-6. Six, six. And then Blake, I'm going to send... I didn't say nothing about the elves! I'm going to send Lathril your way, because I feel like trouble is coming. My spidey senses. Yeah, yeah. true. Um, so yeah, uh, Lathril's a 2-2. Yeah, no, uh, no blocks from me. No blocks from me. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to make a 2 one, 1 green elf warrior creature tokens. I got my two elves, and that's going to trigger the elvish vanguard, going up two more counters, up to seven, and then two counters also on Marwyn the Nurturer. I think that's all my things. I'm going to pass to you, Blake. That's a lot of things. Yep. Hey, uh, hey, hey, Ben, remember when it was really cool when you cascaded twice? Yeah, you're going to do it too? No. You're going to do it four times? I'm going to do it four times. Nice. Paying a life because of City of Brass. And I'm going to cast the Apex Devastator. Rawr. So we're going to cascade four times, I guess. Oh, you okay. guess. Farseek. No, okay, not the coolest cascade. <laughs> All right, so Farseek was the first cascade. Soul Ring is the second cascade. I like the where this is going. Yeah, I me don't. too. Path to Exile is the third cascade. Except that swords to plowshares. That... It's true. <laughs> CGB, you could use some life, right? Not really. <laughs> you stole my tooth and nail, though. I, I stole a random card from the top of the library, as my commander does. <laughs> oh, true. It just happened. I mean, if you if you think this is the great danger, it is your choice. I don't choice. think it's the great danger. It's like the good danger. <laughs> no, the great danger. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> okay, maybe I do. <laughs> I'm gonna kill Zopendrill. All right, you're going to target Zopendrill with swords, swords to plowshares. Swords to plowshares. You can gain a bunch of life, buddy. All right, now we're gonna try to hit at least one cool card. <laughs> is, I'm sorry. Is that a swan song? Yeah. That is not the sound a swan makes. <laughs> Whatever, nerd. Dang it! That was an unfortunate set of cascades. Yeah. You doubled cascaded over me. You'll have, to, I... you'll have to settle for a 10 10 that removed the biggest threat on the board. True. I'm not happy about it, though. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm quite pleased because I will pass the turn to my friend CGB. All right, well, I need the trigger, so Paco, Arcane Retriever, going to combat, is going to attack Ben. If this card's sick, I'm going to be so sad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's exile. Mm. Oh! No. Ooh. All right, so I exiled Boseju who endures. I exiled a Boros charm. I exiled a Cavern of Souls. I exiled my pet card, Bringer of the Blue Dawn. Whoa. Oh, I mean, cool, Covert Go Blue is over here. <laughs> <laughs> that is a cool card there, Blake. Wow. Now, unfortunately, I can't do anything with ah. it because it's a creature, yeah. so it just goes exiled. But I'm going to keep the rest of these with fetch counters. All right, that's three non-creature spells exiled, so Paco will become an 8-8. Eight, eight. Ben, that's eight commander coming at you. Okay, down to 18. I know it feels like I've been playing this game really cagey, you know, like not yeah. tapping mana and stuff. And I just want you guys to know that I'm going to play this Boseju from Exile as a land because that's what Halden allows me to do. And I want you guys to know that I'm doing it again. I passed to Ben. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel much better. Play planes for turn. And a Mox Amber, play an Explorer, I mean play an additional land, draw a card. Got that additional land? I do not. <laughs> You're I, supposed to draw it. I don't know if that's good or bad. Yeah, I know. <laughs> He's got three cards. Tap three to play my commander because it's reduced with the Bard class. Okay, it also comes in with an additional plus one plus one counter. Yes, it does. Tap my last four mana for a Shannon Sleeper's Scourge. It's a 2 4 menace human knight. Other legendary creatures you control have menace. Oh boy. Whenever you play a legendary land or cast a legendary spell, you may you draw a card and lose one life. Oh boy. Uh huh. So that's going to trigger the Joda that's before all. it enters the battlefield. Oh, right. Yes. 
So Cascade Legendary for three, not a lightning green. It's happening. Sika. Uh, Sika. <laughs> then those both end there with a counter. So everything gets plus four, plus four, as well as their plus one, plus one counters. Where's my trample? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't, we got Menace. I don't know yeah, if you're going to need it. That helps. Menace yeah, that is good. Help. You're looking around, Ben. I'm not doing much. I am not, looking I'm around. I'm in no way intimidating of any kind. Flooded. I'm totally, totally not wanting to do what you might make me do. He's flooded. Kill him. Okay, here's how combat's going to go. Talk to us, Ben. <laughs> Tell us your secrets. I feel like a mob <laughs> boss just sat me know, down for a chat. Joda going to swing at Blake. Okay. Then the Maelstrom Wanderer is going to swing at Shay. Okay. Then Shannon's also going to swing at Blake. Okay. Okay, Azika will go after Shay as well. So yeah. let's be clear. I, is Joda the only thing going at Blake? No, Joda and Shannon at Blake, Maelstrom Wanderer and Azika at Shay. Okay. How much total is that? 17 at Blake. And 18 at shape. Okay. Well, in response to those attacks, oh. I am going to use my Arbor Elf's ability to untap a forest. And then I'm going to pay two for an Assassin's Trophy. Ooh. And as much as Joda is a great target, I think right now, for my best interest, it's going to go to the Maelstrom Walk. Really quick, other legendary creatures you control, Ben, have Vigilance as well. Oh, uh, wow. Okay. You know, I'm so used to playing with the Prismatic Bridge, yeah, I have no yeah, idea yeah, yeah, what yeah. a Zika does. <laughs> All right, but uh, anyway, Maelstrom Wanderer targeted by Assassin's Trophy. Correct. Yep, that... Uh, Hold on, let me think for a second while that's insane, actually. Oh, man. Whoa. Whoa, okay. Whoa. It resolves? Yeah. Resolves for me. Resolves for me. I have a response. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna tap the Maelstrom Wanderer from Azika's ability that and works. Swords the Plowshares my own Maelstrom Wanderer. What? To gain eight life. <laughs> I'd <laughs> rather have the life than the land right now. Okay. So. Legal play? That's Legal play? Hold that. on, that on the snatch. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, Again, this is eight. It's actually 12, right? Because of oh, the legendary creature. Yes, it is 12. My bad. Okay. Go to 30. One yeah. shot to CGB's commander still. Well, that was interesting. And we'll adjust our yes, plus yes. plus Joe yes. to die. Are you going to kill my creature? I'll kill it first. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have never seen <laughs> that one. For, I did not think I'd see that from Ben today. No, no. That's crazy. Um, otherwise, I have right. no blocks. No. So, Blake, there's 15 coming at you now. And Shay, you're taking five if you don't mind. Yep. If you don't mind. If what you I... don't block. Oh. <laughs> if you don't mind. <laughs> that would be so polite. Yeah. yeah. If you don't mind, would you die? <laughs> yeah, I've got no blocks. If you don't mind, I'll take 15. Yeah, go ahead. That's fine. Down to 14, Blake? I'm feeling a little lightheaded. Oh my goodness. That'll be my turn. We'll play a dark boar pathway. So Ben's got giant creatures. Yes. Just how I like it. Blake has one 10 10. Yep. Just how I like it. One, one good one. The CGB's got a couple blockers, but a bunch of untapped mana. The most dangerous of all. <laughs> I also have five untapped mana. Okay. Five? Oh, you got your treasures. I'm gonna move to combat, and I don't love it, but I'm gonna send Lathril to Blake, because we only have one block. That's the only attack? Yep. Shay, we're friends, right? Yeah. That was a super hesitation. <laughs> no, I'm just afraid of like what's going to come next. I wouldn't I say, say yes. that if I was going to like <laughs> attack you. <laughs> I want you to have some elfies. Okay. I love that. So I will not block. Cool. Thanks. Menace helps. Yeah. <laughs> it, does. it does, yes. Okay, cool. So I'm going to make two elves. Elvish Vanguard trigger. This goes up to nine. And Marwyn trigger going up to four. And that is Commander. That is Commander. True. Now I'm also in the untapped mana club because Welcome. I'm going to my end step. What so. is this game? I'm going to spend five mana. I'm going to Mystic Confluence to draw three cards. Okay. We're going big. We're going big. Okay, with the Mystic Confluence on the stack, I think you deserve another shot with that Apex Devastator. So I'm going to try to overload a Cyclonic Rift. <laughs> Yeah, that's cool with me, dude. I'm cool with it. I don't think it's too bad for yeah, you. No, yeah, it's, it's fine for me. Yeah, it resolves for me. Yeah, it resolves. 
Yeah. So once that's done, then uh, I believe Mr. Confluence is on the stack. Any responses? Proceed. Thank you. With that, we're going to move to my turn. Playland. We got to do it, right? It's the law of the jungle. Apex Devastator. Apex Devastator is back. Sunday, Let's... Sunday, Sunday. Let's see if you can top the last one. It's going to be hard not to. Chromatic Aura. There, that's a, race. That's a very a good, good start. One. Yeah. one. Number two. Leyline Binding. Oh, okay. That will enter okay. the battlefield, and I'm going to target Paco. So I'm going to use Deflecting Swat. I'm going to change the target of this ability to my Birds of Paradise. It has That's to be. A, good. Yeah, no, it has. You can't get my chromatic order. Yeah, it has to be a permanent opponent can or an opponent controls from your perspective, and mm -hmm. all they're all gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, birds gets uh, bopped. All right. All right. Number three, Eugene. Well, these Ooh, are better. yeah, just these a little better. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. One more. Reanimate. <laughs> Reanimate, huh? What's the good stuff in your guys' yards? Oh boy. Um, everyone's saying graveyards are kind of trash. Yeah. You guys suck. I mean, if there's something, that's better than nothing. Well, is there anything? I have, I've no, got nothing. I have no creatures. Yeah. I have a dock side. I mean. Yeah. You had nothing? Yeah, but that gives me nothing. It's just a, <laughs> it's a two, one, two that loses me two life. Is that worth it? You're playing? at 12, just do it. If you're gonna sweep it up with Ugin anyway. I know. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Okay, well, so the only hit in the entire game is my dock side. I am disappointed in our creature players over here. Mm. Um, and I'm not going to cast it because there's no actual targets either. It's the saddest reanimate. <laughs> Can't complain though, my other cards were good, so. Yeah, yeah. Better than last time. True. Much better. Five. It's nothing of mine. I mean, before you do it, this doesn't have to attack you. <laughs> oh, right. I could die here. That's right. a good point, dude. <laughs> But just, that means just saying. I know, but you, that means you can't like interact with me, and that's gonna be hard because I'm gonna make that deal. <laughs> How about you leave me alone for a turn cycle? I do nothing to you with my next turn until it gets back to my turn. Okay. Yeah, that works for me. In case, in that case, I will lightning bolt Ben's face. It's rude. Oh, <laughs> bonk. And then I will tap the traumatic orrery. I'm gonna play a soul ring, leaving four floating mana, and I may spend mana as though it was in a mana of any color. So then I'm gonna go to one mana for decanter of endless water and then we're going to go to nothing to play a dryad of the elysian groves and i'm going to play a misty rainforest which can tap for mana because of dryad i'm gonna wild growth my misty rainforest which is kind of a bold move and then i think that's good it was like a relatively chill turn yeah, yeah. i'm totally chill yeah. chilling chilling uh go ahead cgb all right I will untap. I'll draw my card for turn. I'll tap Hollowed Fountain for blue and cast Of One Mind for one mana. It's a divination effect, but it costs two less if I have a human and a non-human, like my commanders nice. are, and I draw two cards. Oh. <laughs> nice. Wow. All right, I'm going to tap two, and I'm going to cast a three visits, and search my library for a forest card, put it onto the battlefield. So three visits will find a basic untapped forest. Pulse. Then I'm going to tap three and cast Kodama's Reach and search my library for two basic lands. One goes to the battlefield, tap the other into my hand. I have found an island and a mountain. I'll put the island on the battlefield tapped and the mountain into my hand. As a land for turn, I'm going to play Cavern of Souls. I'm going to name Elemental. <laughs> because I've got an Elemental Hound that's probably errated to be an Elemental Dog. I can't believe you didn't name dogs. I did not. I'm telling Gina. <laughs> and then I could take Ben out, and I could get a lot more cool options for Paco, but I can't beat Blake with the hand I have, especially if I attack here, and I have no immunity from him. So, Ben, your turn. Wow, you're, you're sparing me to help you? I didn't promise to kill him. Joda's back. Back again. Joda's <laughs> back. Unifying. Joda's back. Joda's back. Joda's back. Joda's back. Joda's back. I'm gonna play a Mox Amber. That's technically gonna trigger Joda, but I don't have reveal less than reveal zero. A negative one. Reveal your deck. Yeah, show us everything. Don't. <laughs> Just look up the deck list in the description. Assume we did too. No, Shannon's back too. 
All right. And that will cause Joda to trigger. Oh, no, it's not. No. Nope. Nope. He's out of legendaries. <laughs> nope. That's nope. Equal to. Nope. Equal to. <laughs> and I was joking. Equal oh. to. Nope. Do you have a hit? I, mean, I, th I should. I think okay. he does. I would assume so. <clears throat> I do have something I know would hit in my hand. But... Oh, oh, no. There we go. The Reaver Cleaver. Okay. <laughs> Just took a while. So that's a really fun one. It's equipment that uh, gives the creature plus one, plus one, and trample. And if it hits, he makes treasures, I, be oh. it, I believe, equal to the damage. That many. That many. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's a lot of treasures. It's an old gnaw bone yeah. on an equipment. Ooh. Pretty much. Cool. So that enters before the Shannon, so right. no draw from that. Right. And they're just summoning sick, so go ahead, Shay. Play laugh roll. Also pay one for an arbor elf. That's all I got. Last year. All right, I'm going to start by, yeah, I'm gonna minus five uh, Ugin. Boo. Yeah, boo. Boo. Boo, yeah. boo. boo. boo again. Well deserved. Yeah. I get it. I get it. I get it. I'm the worst. <clears throat> Someone's got to be the worst, though. So for me, that exiles Wild Growth and Dryad of the Elysian Rose. If, it, if and when it resolves. True. Stifle. All right. So uh, no response from me. No response. No response. Okay. That's going to echo. That's going to exile my Paco and my Halden. So you get my Dryad and Wild Growth. I'll get my Laugh Roll and Arbor Elf. I'll get Shannon and the Reaver Cleaver, and I'll put Joda in the Command Zone. And Laugh Roll is also in the Command Zone. And both of my Commanders are in my Command Zone. Sorry, buddy. Well, that's not really. All right, move to <laughs> Ben. We're going to attack Ben with uh, Apex Devastator. Ew. But wait, there's more. Is there now? That's the coolest play I think I've ever made. I'm gonna fall in Shinobi, the Apex Devastator, back into my hand with Ninjutsu. To uh, cast it again? So I can recast it in that game again. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my goodness. Oh, geez. So you're gonna take five from Fallen Shinobi. Oh yeah. And I get the top two cards of your library. Ooh. And I can play them this turn without paying their mana cost. Do we see them? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. You get to see them. Timeless Lotus and Samoot? <laughs> I'll play a Timeless Lotus. Oh you know god. what? I'll play a Samu. Oh god. For free? You can play him for, for free. free. Yeah, Jeez. That's fine. What? No big deal. <laughs> so you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, ten. For another Apex oh. Devastator. <laughs> yeah. I forgot you I'll had go quick. Faber or Elder. Sylvan Library. Not Jingitaxis. Because it's ten. Because it's ten, correct. Toxic Deluge. I will I choose not to cast You that. should pay 12. You think so? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Please do. Well, unfortunately, he's going to the bottom. Come on, show you, you want me to die? <laughs> All right, and then for my last one, Feed the Swarm. Okay. You I can, get rid of him. It's an enchantment only. <laughs> oh. Nope, okay. I'm not going to cast it. That was fun. We had fun. <laughs> what fun. God, it was fun. So fun. I'm having fun. All right, we're going to then spend... Uh, Five mana, and I'm gonna play uh, Kenra. Okay, I'm passing the turn. On your end step, I am going to use Suspend on Samut. So, exile target creature, put two time counters on it, and then when the last counter is removed, uh, you can play it without paying its mana cost. But it is at the beginning of its owner's upkeep. So, it, the counters go away for him, and he gets to cast it? Or do I cast it? At the beginning of its owner's upkeep, they remove a time counter. When the last one is removed, they play it without paying its mana cost. Nice. Okay. okay. Cool. cool. You'll see your Samut soon. Sweet. <laughs> All right. Let's untap. Draw for turn. I'm on board of nothing. 
All right, I'm going to play my land for the turn as a mountain, and I'll tap five. I'm going to overload a Vandal Blast. I have to tap quite like this, but there you go. Boom. That was a 13 mana, mana uh, Vandal Blast. That's pretty good. Doesn't feel like it did much. Technically 14, oh. but I couldn't tap it. So. <laughs> yeah, I got your Mox Amber. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, after that, I'm going to cast one of my commanders, Halden, Arcane, Avid Arcanist, and then I'm done. Play a Black Mage Reforged. It's back. Oh, yeah. I'll play a Zika, because I need a blocker. I'll play me. Niambi, esteemed speaker. Uh, it has, it's a 2-1 flash when Niambi, esteemed speaker, enters a battlefield, I may return another target creature. I control to my hand. I gain life equal to its converted mana cost. I'll return a Zika, just to gain three. And I'll still have a blocker. Then I'll pass. It's tough out here in these streets. <laughs> three for Marwyn the Nurturer. And two for Elvish Vanguard, triggering Marwyn Nurturer. Pass the turn. All right, um, I will Sylvan Library. I'll draw, you know what? You just gonna burn me out if I do this? Nah, I'll go to three. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to, we'll end this game quickly rather than slowly. I will, Cast a Walking Ballista for two, X equals two. And then I'm gonna cast a Heliot. If that resolves, I will give my Walking Ballista lifelink and bonk you guys. Uh, anybody have anything that interacts with a creature in any way right now? I do not. Ben? No. No, nothing? No. Uh, all right, uh, the machine gun fires at will. Get us. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> run away! Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well done, man. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, yeah, that is a very vicious ending board state. That doesn't. I, I, I feel like you were gonna kill us in about five ways anyway. Yeah. That was, <laughs> that was the efficient a, way. That was the very efficient way. I feel efficiently dead. All right. <laughs> let's shuffle it up and pick our cards of the game. We are back for the CoolStuffInc.com card of the game. Remember to use the promo code WORST when you check out at CoolStuffInc.com to get a discount on everything and show your support for the show. Yay! 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 Yay. 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 Sponsored! Yay. 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 Yeah. yeah! My card of the game is going to be Paco. It's not that I don't like Halden, but this is the doggy. Oh, yeah. Everybody <laughs> loves the doggy. This, this dude is just around, you know what I mean? It's a really fun card. It grows really big. It fetches a bunch of cards from other people. Maybe someday I'll get to cast some of those cards. It could be really epic and fun. But this is one of my like favorite commanders I haven't gotten to play before, so I was really excited to play it today. Ben, what is your card of the game? My card of the game was Maelstrom Wanderer. Not only was that in my worst possible, but I cascaded with it into the pantral. That's sweet. So that was awesome. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> Even though I didn't win. It was sweet. It, it was sweet. Yeah. It was terrifying. <laughs> yes. I was like, oh, how convenient. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Shay of the elves, mm -hmm. what is your card of the game? Yeah, my card of the game is Elvish Vanguard. And that's because I think it showed Ben that not all elves are small. <laughs> and actually, they can nice. get very beefy and hit you for a little chunk of damage. They, they just need to grow first. That's it. <laughs> they need some time. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, epically large elves is not unfamiliar to me. Apparently, Ben just hasn't been the victim yeah. of large uh, yeah. elves in a long leader. time. Someone's got to show me up. You know? All right. <laughs> it's still coming. All right, Blake. The champion. You're going to cascade into me? Okay, well, I will choose as my card of the game, Apex Devastator. It's rare you get to cast it three times in a game. Yeah. I don't know how often people... <laughs> Use Apex Devastator as the ideal ninjutsu <laughs> target, <laughs> but it was great. It was so fun. I just, I, my first Cascades were bad. My second Cascades were insane, followed by some very good Cascades after that. So Apex Devastator, I love you. 
I felt a little bad about that first cascade. Did you feel bad anymore? Do you still no. feel bad? Definitely no. not. Definitely. <laughs> no, not at all. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> all right. Well, that was another Smash Mouth game of Battle Cruiser Commander in the books. Thank you very much for watching the show. You stayed till the end. That is the best thing you can do to support the channel. Top it off. Hit like. Hit subscribe. Thank you for watching the show. And on behalf of my friends Ben and Shane and Blake, you're cool.